Hello, I'm Chris Ely. As a lead up to some of the cleaning videos I'm going to be doing, I thought I'd introduce you to a few of the equipment items that I use frequently, if not on a daily basis. Well, let's start off with cloths. Um, these are microfibers, uh, different colors. So if you wanted to use one for kitchen, one for the toilet, one for the whatever, you can basically buy a different color for each one. I've known people to do that. Um, these have many good uses. They pick up grease. Often you don't need any cleaning products, maybe just a little spray of water. Um, and they're marvelous. Uh, so you're saving using soap, which you need to rinse. Another one I like is, of course, Terry Tell, which I use as it has a slight abrasion to it. it it's uh, good for rubbing things down. I don't like using uh, scouring pads, but uh, moving on, this is actually my favorite cloth, which is uh, T-shirt material, uh, comb cotton that I've worn for probably, uh, worn and washed, of course, for probably about two years. And by that time, it is completely lint-free. It is very soft. I'm upset that I can't wear it anymore because there's a hole in it or something's gone wrong. But these are very versatile. I even cut the arms off and I use those as small polishing cloths for shoes and metal. The other is a diaper cloth. I'd heard for so often car cleaning people um, talking about what a great cloth old diapers was. So I went out and I actually bought some new diaper cloths and kept washing them and they've softened up. They do have this thick, of course, absorbent area in the middle, which is supposedly for pee, but um, they, they're a good all round cloth. And um, the biggest problem with cloths is people don't have enough. They keep using the same one, it fills up with dirt and it's useless. So that's the cloths. Probably one of them, because I hate cleaning my shower, or at least spending a lot of time cleaning my shower, so I, I use this on a daily basis. So it was a squeegee after I've showered. Uh, this, using the water that's already in the shower, dissolving with the soap, usually you can take most of the soap scum, if not all of it out, remove the, the moisture, which also leaves the ambient moisture, removes the ambient moisture in the room, should I say. Uh, and of course, high humidity causes uh, mold and fungal growths and all sorts of things. So you wanna keep your, your, the bathroom as dry as possible. So invaluable. So some of the other things I use, this is a, f a floor scrubbing brush. Um, I love brushes. I've got many more than this, but this is a good one for the floor. This one is actually flexible, so it goes into crevices and, and, and other places. Of course, a bottle brush, which is good for cleaning bottles, but also anywhere where you can't reach. Uh, they come in different. This is quite a stiff one. Uh, toothbrushes, which instead of very good for going around taps and tighter areas. Uh, if I had one brush, it would be a toothbrush. I love them. They, they're so good for so many different things. I also use them for uh, shoe cleaning. Um, not this one, but other ones. The other one is a paintbrush. Now you're thinking, what have I got a paintbrush for? Paintbrushes are absolutely brilliant for dusting. In fact, I think I've flicked some out there. Uh, the only thing is this does have metal holding it together, so I've just covered it in elastic bands. This is good for intricate dusting. I have different sizes. Also, what's good is makeup brushes, but we'll go more into those later. Uh, what would life be without a vacuum cleaner? This is a Dyson Stick Vac, which is so much easier to pull out and use than my larger vacuum cleaner. Not as strong, than, this is an older one. The newer ones are a lot stronger. Uh, the other added advantage is this one, I think, only lasts for about 15 minutes uh, before the battery runs out. And let's face it, who wants to clean any, any longer than that? So it's a good, quick way to pick stuff up, tidy a house up. There's other attachments which we'll go through and we'll do another a, a video on vacuum cleaners. Lastly, we have floor cleaning. Um, 
I brought this along, which I found. Uh, I don't have hardwood, I have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, so a lot of my life is, is the vacuum cleaner. This is good for hard surfaces, wood, laminates. Uh, this side is for dusting, this will pick the dust, you just rub it up and down. This side is maybe for finer dusting, but also you can do what's called damp dusting with this. You just just do a few little sprays. You don't want to soak this, just do a few little sprays and it'll pick up dirt and other matter. Um, this cover can be taken off and either hand washed or thrown in the dishwasher, a uh, dishwasher, the clothes washer, should I say, and it will uh, last for quite a long time as long as you look after it. But they're a real lifesaver for places where I've worked with hardwood floors. Um, and as I say, this is a two-in-one sort of thing. Uh, last but not least is the bucket. I don't like to use a lot of sprays. I'd rather have a cleaning solution so I can, sometimes if I'm damp dusting, I'll use a cloth, put it in, wring it out, dust goes into the cloth and then you just transfer it into the water. It's also if you uh, can get a dish pan or a different size if you want to use a regular mop. So this is just a few of the things I use. As I say, we'll do more videos on each of these uh, types of cloth, their uses, how to keep them clean, tidy, and to make sure it lasts you a long time. Please visit the website where I will have written materials on just about everything. Thank you.